the past month has been really excruciating. Brutal. Uh, yeah. And you've been reporting live from Israel for the past how many days? Ten uh, days. Ten days. So. Yeah. Um, and of course, a journalist as experienced as you, you're covering. You've covered many conflicts in many different places. This one has felt different in many ways, as you mentioned, more um, the level of trauma, the immediacy of it, uh, quite great. Can you just talk about what it's like to move on a moment's notice to covering a live breaking event that is a war unfolding before our eyes? It's, it's difficult to compare uh, traumatic events. And I don't want to belittle any of the ones that I have covered because I've been to so many and, and they're all awful in their individual ways, whether it's the levees breaking uh, in Katrina and what the poor people of New Orleans suffered and the horrible memories I have of that, uh, or the 2014 conflict between Israel and uh, Hamas and uh, Gaza, or um, the couple weeks I spent in the Baghdad uh, during the Iraq war, and that was right when it looked like Iraq was about to break out into a, a civil war between Shia and Sunni. I think that was 2005. Um, I've been to Afghanistan a couple times. I wrote a book about Afghanistan. Um, and uh, Ukraine, last April, uh, I got to interview President Zelensky in his palace in April 2022. And they're all, I mean, it was in Ferguson um, after the Michael Brown uh, shooting, which was actually the one time I came closest to bullets. Um, so they're all awful, but there was something about the torturing of babies and the torturing of children that uh, and you didn't see all of it because um, a lot of it was not brought to you in, your, in the newspaper or on TV. And I'm not in any way belittling the horrific suffering going on in Gaza right now by the IDF airstrikes. And, and I'm not saying that that is lesser. It is not. I'm, and I'm, I'm not, please don't think that I am saying that that is not horrific I'm not comparing but at all. Um, but just encountering the people who have gone through that or the people who loved the people who have gone through that, the abject, face-to-face, -face, torturing of children, of moms, of seniors, is just, uh, it's just something that um, I can't speak on behalf of Aaron Burnett or Anderson Cooper or anybody else that's covered this, but there's just something about it that just shakes you to your core. Um, I, I, again, all war is horrible, all death is horrible. I'm not saying one is worse than the other, but the experience of talking, seeing, bearing witness to that was particularly horrific, combined with all of the death on both sides of the border with Gaza, combined with the metaphorical minefield of covering the conflict, yes. combined with the fact that so few people no, I shouldn't say that. Combined with that there were loudly people who did not care about the slaughter of innocent people on October 7th and were loud about it. Um, it I mean, I can see you're still wrestling. Yeah, I mean, I wish I was a lot cooler <laughs> than, than this, but, it, but it's, just, it's just upsetting.